Earlier this week, Google was at the Games Developer Conference. And at the event, Google announced that Android 12 would be coming with what they are calling the Game Dashboard, which is an overlay that would be able to provide quick access to key utilities during gameplay. And from this article, we can see that this row of buttons will include a screenshot button, a button that will let you start recording the screen, a widget that shows the FPS, and a way to enable Do Not Disturb mode, all from an overlay while you're playing the game. And since then, Android 12 Beta 3 has been released. And with that update, we have this new game dashboard. Sadly, this game dashboard is not easily accessible in this update. However, thanks to a workaround, I can show you how to enable this hidden menu. So for this workaround to work, we need to go into the settings application tap the search and then simply search for game and you should see a game setting option there if you do not i have read that others are seeing this feature whenever they search for do not disturb but either way we're just going to look for and tap the game setting option for the game dashboard so again, we can search for game, we see game settings, and we can simply tap that to go into the game settings. Here are the two toggles that we get when we go into that page. And we're going to need to enable this game dashboard via the toggle here. If you want, we can also enable do not disturb mode for games. However, in this video, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to show you how to access this screen or this game dashboard overlay. So I downloaded a simple game, Crossy Road. And as you can see, while playing this game normally, I do not have the game overlay. So once we have enabled that toggle, as I showed you, you're going to want to open up your game and then you're going to want to swipe down and minimize it. From here, we're just going to open up any application. I'm just going to open up the Chrome application again. And now we're going to be using the gesture to go back into our game. And once you see that happen, you now see that we have this button, this overlay button. This is the game dashboard button that we can now tap on to access the game dashboard. Now at this time, game optimization is not working, at least in beta three, but you can go to YouTube Live right from here. Now this is just the main screen of that overlay. We can, from here, from this screen, we can enable these buttons, these overlay buttons that I just mentioned to you. We have the screenshot button, the record video button, our game overlay button, and our FPS counter. So that whenever we tap the X to go back out of here, you can see we have access to all four of these options. And again, these can be changed. If we don't need to stream to YouTube, we don't have to have that button there. We can only keep those three. And like most overlay buttons, we can move this to a certain part of the either left or right side of the screen. And you can even swipe it away to not dismiss it, but hide it better.
So that's the new Android 12 game dashboard feature and the workaround to enable it in the beta 3 update.